Well guys, uh, out uh, doing a little permigan hunting. Uh, I've got a few flurries, you know, it's not a great day, can't see you real far, but uh, I tried to come in a little deeper in the back country and swing it around this brook here and uh, and uh, get into some new ground. And I just stopped here, this brook has run a bit. I sipped off the skidoo, and look at this. Man, what a start I got. When I just sipped off, I just went right on down. So, got a good grip on the skidoo there, and I gotta get myself out of here. Man, it's tight too. I just stepped off, I want to have a look at this brook here. The brook is running. I want to cross this brook in a good safe place, so I have to go up that way a little further and see. There's a cartridge right there. I only see the one. Just seen the one and when I fired then after another one flight up there and uh, I'm gonna try to cross that uh, that brook but everything was flooded out it was a little bit too risky you know I didn't want to get stuck in it today so I come back and kind of exploring around some different hills that I never hunted before and uh, I never seen no sign I just seen this partridge there so fired I gotten and that's the start of the hunt Yeah, a few more flies. I seen where he pitched to. It's not that far, so them quitting down there. And uh, bit of blowing. You're hard to see. The way it is. Well guys, I uh, just got another one, so I'll pick this one off and uh, yeah, just uh, keep moving on. Uh, this one flied up, made a nice little, uh, I winged this one, it was a real nice shot. <laughs> There's just no way to get camera, you know. Yeah. Well, I, ju <clears throat> I just seen this one, fired gotten. It's the only one I've seen, but then after I fired, I've seen another one kind of running down over that bank there somewhere, so. Go down the line here and have a little look now. Trace the track of the other one and come right on down. On into the woods there. Man, you talk about walking fast and it's kind of blind. I was just coming slow looking at the footing. But yeah, come a long ways in a, in a short time, I tell you. So So anyway, I'll pick this one off now and, uh, and continue hunting, I guess. Never knows, I'll, I'll loop them around here and he might come past through that little joke of woods there and get on the other side. But, uh,
Just got the two to one shot. Yeah, just got two of those there to one shot. Have a look now, see, is there another one here? Uh huh. A bit windy today, you know. But anyway, getting a few, so that's good. Uh, the snow is starting to come out a little heavier again now. Uh, the brook is running pretty good too. So anyway, we'll just continue on hunting. I tell you, some of this old country is uh, difficult to get around on scooter. You got like big old deep ravines and things, and sometimes you just gotta circle a long ways around to get just get around them. Nice side of a hill over there for priming. Got a lot of alders all along that side there. And if they're deer, they'll stay there. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I seen the one there, and uh, as far as I shot, and then after I shot, I seen another one flat and went up over the hill there. So, yeah. I tell you, it's kind of blind, and the wind picked up, and it was drifting too, so you know, it's kind of hard to see. But got another one, so that's good. Each one adds up. Each one is adding up to a wonderful day. Well. This one right here, I think it's number 10. So we're into the double digits. So whatever happens now, you know, it's a good old, it's a good hunt now regardless of what happens. Yeah. And still got a bit of time left, so, uh, so hopefully we can add to it. But if we don't, you know, uh, consider this a good day. Yeah, actually uh, doing better than I thought, you know, with the conditions we got here. So that's good. I tell you, the, the wind is really picking up here now. I'm kind of in an area that I haven't been to before. So it's going to scoop around a bit. Well, someone was asking me, you know, what kind of ammo I use, and I'm just using all different kinds, you know, just using it up. And if it sees one bit far, grabs a, you know, a little bit better shell or whatever. 
to close and some sort of stuff. So uh, yeah, uh, I just using up, just using up some more ammo. That's all. Uh, yeah, so I'll be back here on the land again tomorrow. I uh, cleaned up the paramagnet in there now, and uh, probably tomorrow evening I'll show you how I package uh, my paramagnet, how I put them away for long-term storage, and I'll make a video on that. But I guess that's it for this one, though. I really appreciate y'all watching, and uh, hope you see us all on the next one. All the best from the big man.